Hello guys, it's Wolfpack Knight 2 again, and I'm back with another Legendary Weapon Spotlight video, and I really do apologize if my voice sounds a little, little stuffed up. I actually forgot to men I actually didn't mention this in my Unique Weapon Spotlight, but I am just getting over being sick. I actually said that in one of my other videos, but yeah, if I sound a little stuffed up or clogged up, that's why. But today we are doing the two, the Maggie. In my case, it's the two fur Maggie. In your case, you might end up getting a different version of this weapon. But I highly recommend the two fur Maggie because you get four more extra projectiles. And if you guys remember uh, the Masher from from Borderlands One, this is pretty much a Masher right here. It works the same exact way. It is amazing. And the Masher was one of my favorite revolvers in Borderlands 1, and I just, I loved Mashers. Now, they did, they did actually bring down the strength of this thing, so it's not as strong as a Masher in Borderlands 1, but it's still pretty damn strong. Now, where you get this thing from is uh, the Ho-Dunks. You have to side with the Zephyrds in order to get this. Now, yeah... If you side with the Zephyrs, you end up getting the Chu Lin SMG, which I already reviewed, and this as a rare drop from uh, Tector, I believe his name is. Yeah, it's Tector. If I'm wrong, please tell me in the comments below. But yeah, this thing's pretty damn nice, and yeah, there's not really much to say about it anymore until you guys see the gameplay. So let's get to the gameplay, and I'll see you guys there. Bye bye. I mean, not bye bye. What the fuck am I saying bye bye for? I'll see you guys at the gameplay. Alright, guys, so we're back with some gameplay of the Maggie, and I really apologize for the camera going off screen. It, the camera ended up sliding down a whole bunch while I was recording, and I was trying to position my Vita so that it would actually get it, but it, it kept sliding down on my chest and was really, really fucking annoying. It started getting really hot in my recording se in my recording room, and my screen stopped working. But enough with that. See, this is the Maggie without the without the B shield, and it's pretty decent without the B shield. It's more of a CQB weapon than anything else. But dude, I just I cannot like without the B shield and everything. I cannot use this weapon. But it's, it just has way too much recoil. And with this much recoil in a gun, I just cannot use it. I mean, I use it sometimes, but it, it, it just has way... It just has so much recoil compared to the Mashers in Borderlands 1. But still, other than that, this, this gun is pretty damn amazing. Now, at this area... These guys had these guys kept putting my fucking shields down. I just could not keep the B shield up. I tried to get I actually got a few kills with the B to show you guys how much this thing does with the B, but the thing is the, the downside to that, if you want the massive damage of the B shield compared with the Maggie, you have to get every single pellet on the enemy if you want to deal massive damage. Now, the Mashers were like that in Borderlands 1, but it still did a lot of damage. Now, the Maggie, it's a little different. I mean, they're, they're not your ordinary Masher from Borderlands 1. <coughs> but it's still a really good weapon. I mean, it's hard for me to use because of all the recoil and my setup just does not work that way. I'm mainly focused with, like, elemental weaponry, but you know... It still works for me. I really like this pistol. It's just not something that I'd use in every single thing of combat because I it's just not it doesn't suit my playing style. But anyways, that that was the Maggie. Don't think I hate I don't think I hate this gun because I absolutely love it. But yeah, this has been Wolfpack Night 2 and I just hope you guys enjoyed. So, yeah, the, it's just not my type of pistol. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.